this video kind of sucks to make, but I want to talk with you guys. I want to break this down and I, I need your guys' opinions on everything. I just, um, whatever. Leave a like on this video if you support me, please, please, if you support me, follow me on Twitter, Insta, uh, all my social medias are at Overtflow. My Insta is actually at Overtflows with an S O V E R T F L O W S. Um, if you support me, please follow me on all those platforms because obviously YouTube uh, is all over the place. I, I don't... So frustrating, bro. So incredibly frustrating to work on something for so long. Um, if you guys don't know, if you guys know me, all right, you'll know that my name is PJ. I go by Overflow here on the internet. Uh, the majority of my videos coming up were, are, are, they still are, gaming videos, videos about my life, including but not limited to vlogs and story times. You guys know that I've always shared uh, my life with you. My life stories were and still are a huge part of my channel. They were such a big part of my main channel here that I actually created a second channel for them, like specifically just for life stories. I posted all my life stories over there. Um, life stories is a, I feel like it's a very niche market here on YouTube. There's just like very few channels that do it very well and I was very lucky and blessed in the fact that a lot of you guys really liked them. A lot of you guys really enjoyed uh, the stories that I told about like me in high school or me at parties or stories about ex-girlfriends. A lot of you guys really enjoyed that stuff and literally what these videos are is me telling you something about my life over gameplay most of the time. Sometimes I would vlog but most of the time it was simply over gameplay and unfortunately and this is something that I'm currently fighting right now, but if you're a fan of the life stories, if you're a fan of just like me in general, if you just support me, um, you, you've been tweeting me about this, I've got a million tweets and obviously I know, but YouTube terminated my channel. YouTube terminated my life story channel. Um, here on the main channel I have like 470,000 subscribers uh, when YouTube decides to show you guys my videos, but on my second channel I had 53,000 subscribers simply for life stories, which is honestly, you guys, um, being a YouTuber, there's things that you do that you absolutely are passionate about, there's things that you do that you like, there's things that you do that you love. I love gaming, I do. I really, I really like making gaming videos, I really like making vlogs, I really like going to GameStop and buying stuff for you guys or whatever. But my favorite thing, the thing that I was most passionate about was my life stories. And so I had a lot of you guys, like that's my favorite thing that I've ever done on, the, on YouTube. Like literally, without question, that is my favorite, favorite type of video to make. To tell you guys, yo, here's the time that my ex-girlfriend, you know, stole my car. Like it was wild. Or here's the time that my best friend got in a fist fight with somebody at a party and then this, this happened. You know, like... Those were my favorite types of videos. Like, I cannot explain to you how much I love doing those. And I love being part of the Storytime community. It was definitely a much bigger community back in the day, like, you know, a few years ago. But to still be one of the guys that had a bunch of videos and still do that, I took a lot of pride in that, right? And YouTube went and terminated the channel. I'm, I, I believe that it was wrongfully terminated um, because going through it, Really, the the worst things about yes, they're trying to make everything family friendly, but there's no like explicit images or super explicit like I'm just telling a story. And most of the time, even if the story was like more adult themed, I try to like send. I I didn't swear. I didn't really say nothing bad. So I'm in right now. I'm trying to get the channel back, and I know that I hadn't posted to it in like six months or whatever. And a lot of people came out and asked me, bro, what happened to the stories? Why are you not telling stories? Where are they at? What's going on? Um. And the truth is, the truth is that uh, once YouTube, like late last year, started switching over to a more family-friendly based content, I noticed that that channel kind of stopped growing. The videos used to all do really well, um, and you guys know who like Luna is, or Xcode, or Ghost Sickness, or Eki. These guys were all also story channels, and all of them had the same thing happen to them. Some of them got their channels terminated, some of them had to delete all their videos. Xcode, in, um, in specific, deleted all of his videos because he kept getting strikes for no apparent reason. Um, got all the, his videos struck. Ghost Sickness had the same thing where he had to delete all his content because he was scared that YouTube would just eventually terminate his channel completely. So what I did, my, my way to, to combat that was simply to stop uploading. So I, was, I got a strike on my channel 
right? Like late uh, 2017, I got a strike. So I took a break. I was like, you know what? The channel's not really growing right now. I got a strike for no reason. Um, I don't want to fight it because I don't know if YouTube's going to to work with me or if they're just simply not going to listen and just keep striking my channel. So I took a break. The strike wore off. So after about six months, the strike wears off. I came back. I uploaded some more videos. Within a week of me uploading new videos, I got another strike. So that makes another strike on my channel. I had to wait another six months. I was like, all right, I'm going to have to wait another six months, but I just feel like I, I don't think that these strikes are deserved. So I simply took a break. I didn't combat the strike or anything like that because most of the time if you do that, uh, YouTube either takes forever or they just give you another strike for no reason. Like that. I actually had a channel terminated before. It was this main channel. When I hit 37,000 subscribers on this main channel, I got a strike and then I, um, I appealed it. I appealed the strike and they gave me two more strikes and terminated my channel for other videos. So it's almost like because I tried to appeal it, they decided, you know what? Uh, we're actually just gonna strike you. That's what it seemed like happened, to be honest. So now when I get a, when I get a strike, I don't even appeal it because I'm like, I'm just scared that they're just gonna like be like, oh, really? You you wanna appeal, like like coming at me with the fist, you know what I'm saying? Backhand me in the face, pimp slap here. And um, so I was scared to appeal the strike. So I just, I simply didn't, right? I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to upload videos here and there on the channel and just kind of see what happens. Regardless if it grows or not, I know that people like the stories and I wanted to bring you guys videos because that's something that I love doing. And uh, it's such a huge part of my life too. I never thought that YouTube, dude, I have like a couple thousand videos uploaded. Um, YouTube started off as like this much of my life, like 10% of my life, just something I would do as a hobby. And now it's literally like, it's my full-time job. I just played in an NBA game. Uh, they invited me to the summer league to play. I just fought on the Logan Paul versus KSI boxing match in front of 20,000 people at Manchester Arena, millions online. Like this pays for my car, this pays for my 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 bills. It's insane to think of how important this is to me, and it sucks to think how quickly YouTube can just like, without even looking into it, just like nah, nope, done. Like because of an algorithm or because of whatever. So it's kind of stressful, man. And like. Don't get me wrong, I, I love YouTube, I love everything it's done for me, but you know, I, I put in all that work, I did all that, and I would like it if they showed like some type of like, I feel as though if you have over 10,000 followers or over 100,000 followers, instead of just striking you, they should, add, they should really have a human look into it and see what's going on, right? And so, anyways, uh, I kept uploading videos to that channel, I got another strike, so that's one strike, it wore off, another strike, I kept uploading videos, I got another strike. So that's two strikes at one time. If you get three strikes, you're out, right? So I stopped uploading. I just completely stopped uploading. A few months later, I, I didn't even upload. Literally like four months later, um, so this is now at this point like a month and a half, two months ago, um, I go to check my channel out. Um, or actually, I think that I was on my Twitter and I seen somebody say, yo, wh where's your story channel? So I go to check out my channel and it's gone, right? So I see the whole um, uh, channel has been terminated due to multiple or severe violations of the YouTube policies, whatever, right? Uh, an image that legitimately haunts me. Like I literally, um, I have the tab for my second channel right here on my screen and I, like if I ever accidentally click it, like it makes me sick, bro. And like I have to click off immediately. And so I'm currently um, in the process of getting that channel back for those of you asking me. And if I do get the channel back, I'm going to A, try to make it as family friendly as possible and B, keep uploading there because my, my honest goal in this life, and I posted these goals to Twitter, but my honest goal is uh, I would like to get a million subscribers on this channel here. I'd like my second channel to get to the 100,000 mark. That's a, such a huge deal for me. And you know, I would like to start a YouTube house here in Vegas, which is something that I am working on. And if I could join FaZe at any point, that would be like a life goal since I started my YouTube channel. Um, kind of, kind of influenced by them a lot, and also they're all the homies, so that would be that would be amazing. But I don't know, man. I didn't even like. Obviously, I didn't even want to make this video because it's been months, right? It's been like two months since that channel got deleted. And if I would have made a video two months ago, I would have been kind of like more upset about it. Um, but I took some time, like I'm a really chill, level-headed guy, uh, like 99% of the time, probably more, 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm like never mad about nothing, but it just kind of, it hurts my feelings more than anything, like it hurts my feelings that I could dedicate so much time 
to a platform and they don't even give you the benefit of the doubt. They just like straight up delete your channel. So I'm trying to get that back, you guys. And um, I guess I just, it kind of feels good to talk about it. So yeah, and it also, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity to say this. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. But also, I don't, people are asking me like, are you gonna upload gaming content? Are you gonna upload stories? Are you gonna upload GameStop videos? Are you gonna upload training footage from the boxing thing? I don't know, man, and I kind of want your guys' opinion on this. I think that I just want to make the content that I want to make, uh, regardless of what it is, but part of me really wants to just upload like three gaming videos every day. I could do that. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is out. Spider-Man's out. Um, Fortnite's going to season six. I could literally just grind out those videos if that's what you guys want to see on this channel, and then like, you know, I could grind out gaming videos and throw up vlogs like maybe once or twice a week as well. And I could upload like 10 videos a week, just like gaming stuff and then vlogs. I could do that for sure. But the stories is something that's like so important to me. And it sucks that you could get flagged for telling a story. Like I really think that that's, that's, um, I think that I believe it was wrongfully terminated, which is why I'm talking about it. And, um, I'm going to get it back because I have gotten channels back before that were wrongfully terminated. And it's crazy to me that they can be like, oh, you know what? That was a mistake. Like, bro. You gonna not like you can not pay me for the work that I put in. You're going to destroy what I've worked so hard at off of a mistake. Like, come on, bro, look into it at least a little bit. Go on, do me, do, do me, do me a solid, homie. Do me a solid. Look into it a little bit. Maybe make sure that uh, you're doing the right thing. But I mean, I'm gonna do my best to get it back, you guys. And uh, I think that on this channel, I really kind of want to start grinding out gaming content, but obviously my life is so much more than just gaming now. When I started doing gaming content on this channel, it was because I, um, I would go to work, I'd go to school, I'd do like stuff in my social life, and then I'd come home and I'd play video games and I'd make videos about it. But now, so much of my life is so different, like I'm flying to England, I'm f going to Texas in a couple days, right? I'm bringing my whole setup with me so I can make videos for you guys. I'm going to LA after that, I'm getting a YouTube house. Like I have to make videos about all the crazy stuff that happens in my life as well because my life is so much more than just playing video games. And it's, th it's thanks to you guys. So all you guys, man, I'm just so grateful to you guys. And I've actually, I've actually speaking of being grateful, this is something that um, I do almost all the time, but I always try to follow you guys back on Twitter and instant stuff. I, I think I follow like 3,000 people on my Twitter and over a thousand people on Instagram just because like I want to support the people that support me and, and thank you guys so much. And I guess in a way, to those of you who like my story videos, this was in fact a story. So yeah, hope that you guys enjoyed, even though it was kind of a sad story, sad face. Um, but yeah, you guys. Uh, Following me on all my social medias is the, is the most important thing you guys could do at this point. I'm not going to close this drawer, by the way. I'm going to leave it open for the people that always tell me to close it. No! My socks are over there. And I I just got... Oh, no, wait. That's wrong. My socks are in that drawer that's also open. Look at this. Sock drawer. Socks, undies. Big facts, all right? Um, yeah, following me on my socials is super important. Um, using code FLOW on G Fuel. Control Freaks and Scuff. Super important. Use code OVERFLOWS15 on movement watches. Also important, buy some merch. You know what I'm saying? Support me in any way that you want to. I'm gonna have to open up like a premium Snapchat or, um, you know, something. Maybe a, maybe a sexy Patreon. You feel me? With me, like doing calendar shoots. That's gonna be happy. That's gonna be the move. <laughs> but either way, you guys, I love y'all very much. Y'all are honestly amazing. You guys that actually support me here, because like I have times where my videos are getting on. 50,000 views a video, 100,000 views a video, or times where I'm getting like 5,000 or 10,000 views a video. Doesn't matter to me. I just like that you guys are here and I love y'all. Um, I just needed to address the fact that yes, uh, that channel did get terminated and I am in the process of getting it back. And when it comes back, uh, I definitely, I definitely want to do more stuff. But as of right now, my main, like I want to post all my stories over there. My main focus on this channel is maybe GameStop stories, GameStop vlogs, life vlogs, and gaming content like I've always done. But I love y'all. I will see you in the next one. Um, YouTube, what is, what is you doing? What is you doing? <laughs> all right, guys. I love y'all. I'll catch you next time. I am over and out. Gosh, it's stressful. Stressful, bro. Stressful stuff.